If you want to see how I take this wig and turn it into this, then just keep watching. Side Hustle Vicky here and I am back today with another hair review. Today's wig was sent to me by Caitlin's Hair on Amazon. Um, in the package you will get a card, a wig cap, and of course your wig. The wig that I have is a 22 inch afro kinky curly wig. So this is what the unit looks like straight out of the package. As you can see, this is a four by four lace closure wig. It comes with four combs, two on the side, one in the middle and one on the back. And then it also comes with the adjustable straps and a little bit of lace in the back in case you wanna pull it up in a ponytail. So the knots on this wig were pretty big so we're going to go ahead and bleach the knots. We're just going to use some 40 developer and some quick blue uh, bleaching powder and as you can see I'm just going to use half the packet because it does not take a lot and um, we just need enough to do that 4x4 four four piece and I am going to slowly mix in the developer. You don't want it to be runny, you want it to be the texture of room temperatured butter that way while while the wig is bleaching or the knots are bleaching it doesn't seep down into the rest of the hair so you want it just thick enough that it's gonna sit on those knots and bleach those So this right here is the perfect consistency as you can see um, it's not going to move and seep down into the rest of the wig and I like to use a butter knife to apply the um, mixture onto the wig um, I have found that when you use the um, little mixing brushes that it kind of sort of taps the um, mixture in between the holes in the lace and um, it will cause you to bleach part of the hair and you really want to just bleach the knots. This is what it should look like when you're done. As you can tell, the bleach mix is on the um, side that we put it on and it has not started to seep over to the other side, which is exactly what we want. Here you can see that those knots are a whole lot less visible. And this is what the wig looks like after being washed and air dried. And y'all, it looks like I am going to have my hands full with this one. So because the hairline on this is not pre-plucked and it is very very thick I decided that I would just leave out my own edges and um, sit the wig um, a little bit behind my hairline. to just take my hot comb and straighten out the roots a little this hair is curly from the roots to the end and I don't particularly care for curly roots so I'm just going to straighten them out just about an inch or so
just going to take some water and I am going to section the hair off into small sections. I am going to thoroughly saturate the hair in water. Then I am also going to thoroughly saturate the hair in a leave-in conditioner. Um, for those of you who have no experience with curly hair, especially Afro curly units, um, these units tend to be dry they tend to um just poof up a lot and you've really got to um just take really good care of the hair treat it as if it were your own hair so we are going to never comb it while it is dry always make sure it is wet soaking wet and then we're also going to hydrate it and put in a plenty of product now you can use whatever product you want to use i did not want this hair to have a wet look after drying so i used this cantu leave-in conditioner Kind of see me cut off the ends of this hair. Um, I did not go in and like restyle the hair, but at the ends there were some uh, hairs that were longer than the others, so I just wanted to make it all even. done who's ready for the final look overall I absolutely love this wig I am highly impressed by the fact that the way it was styled and cut on the um, photos is exactly the way that this wig came to me which a lot of times you don't get the wig that you see in the photos so this wig here was very spot on if you're interested in ordering this wig I will place all the information below and thank you guys for stopping by and I will catch you in my next side hustle Bye.